I want to take this very opportunity to thank you for making the decision that national celebrations will not only be held in Nairobi, but it will be held in our counties. And thank the people of Kirinyaga for this beautiful ceremony they have hosted you in this Kirinyaga Stadium. We came here, Your Excellency, you remember, four years ago, and this place was very muddy. Today, we have a world-class stadium because of your commitment to the development of our country. This Mashuja Day, we celebrate the many people who worked so hard, paid a huge price for us to be the nation that we are today. We celebrate them for their selfless sacrifice that today makes us a nation. Your Excellency, we celebrate the heroes of now, our men and women in uniform, who keep our borders, our families, and our children safe. We celebrate our farmers who wake up early and sleep late to make sure that we have a meal on our tables. We celebrate every Kenyan who wakes up early, get to work, pay their taxes, so that Kenya can continue to be a sovereign nation. Your Excellency, we celebrate you as our leader. The last nine years has seen unprecedented transformation in our country. From the SGR to the almost 11,000 kilometers of new tarmac in Kenya, to the almost 8 million people connected to electricity, to all the transformation in our education sector. Your Excellency, your place in the history of Kenya is not only secure, but it is prominent. Your legacy as a transformational leader in Kenya will set the standard for the leaders that will come after you. Your Excellency, I want to give you our assurance. Myself and my competitors here that we will build on the legacy that you have set and we will ensure that nothing that you will leave behind is left incomplete. We will build on it and make sure that Kenya goes to the next level. Your Excellency, I assure you that as your deputy for the last nine years, God willing, I will make sure that your legacy and the agenda you have set of the unity of this nation and the transformation of our nation under the big four plan, together with the bottom-up approach, will take this country to greater heights. Your Excellency,
This is a very important day for us as a nation. And you have set the standard for us. We will work together as a people in a peaceful manner, respecting everybody's right, being tolerant and peaceful because we do not have another nation. This is the only Kenya we have, and it is our duty to protect it. With those many remarks, Your Excellency, sir, it's now my very humble duty to request you, Mr. President, to make your remarks and lead the nation on this Mashuja day. Sote, tupige makutusimame, tumkaribishe ra.